What's up everyone, it's Mike here from The Art of Guitar. Uh, finally getting the new equipment put together, so uh, hopefully everything goes smoothly today. I just wanted to show you a quick little tip regarding those color forms that I was talking about. What I want to show you today is how to take a regular minor pentatonic and using one of the color forms, uh, just kind of dress it up a little bit and start thinking modally now. So if we just took a regular A minor pentatonic, so it'd be here at the fifth fret. <laughs> So a lot of you guys are familiar with that one. If we wanted to dress that up a little bit, you know, sometimes you feel like you get stuck in a box when you're playing this kind of stuff. So you're here. You can do all sorts of great stuff. And sometimes you just want to add a little bit more color to these uh, box shapes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the green form. And so far I've taught the blue form on YouTube, but uh, the rest of them I taught on the website for the most part. But today I'll just show you the green form really quick so we can quickly add this and uh, dress this up a little bit. So let's start here at the third fret and we're going to go three, five, seven. So it's going to be G, A, B. Now this is kind of interesting. We're going to go to the next string and go fourth fret, fifth fret, seventh fret. Okay. Next string, same thing. Next string, four, six, seven. Next string, five, seven, eight. And then finally on the highest string, we go five, seven, nine. Very strange shape uh, in and of itself. But here's the best part. If you play that while thinking in your minor pentatonic, because we're going to be kind of playing over the A7 sound, that sort of thing. If you're already in minor pentatonic and you just add a little bit of this green form to it, what it does is it transforms, if you think of it as starting in A, even though we're starting here as our lowest note of the color form, this is actually going to be our starting point. Listen to this. Going backwards. You could swoop down to the lowest part of the form, which is G, and then come back up to A. So to kind of let, make this less confusing, if you start here at the fifth fret and play the green form, thinking of it as being the second note of the green form, you end up with A mixolydian. So thinking modally now is a little more fun because it adds some more, some more options. Okay, so if I just showed you a couple of ways that you could utilize the mixolydian, with the minor pentatonic, you probably already do some of these already, just out of experimenting. So let's say you're doing something like. Well, if you superimpose the green form next to it, like we just did, what you end up with the these notes. So there's a couple more options there. That sound great. There's another note. So we add this to it. It's already a lot more interesting than it was. So before you might have just went in your typical box shape, but now you're going and if you want to add more, go ahead. The best part is the highest part. Because you're used to being on the 8th fret for the minor pentatonic in A, it's kind of cool to have the ninth fret next to it. So you can either slide, or you can bend. I love doing that. It's a great thing to add to it. was fun because I just crawled up the scale then I just started messing with it so you can have a lot of fun with this idea especially if you already mix it with something you know like the minor pentatonic scale it's like oh I can see both of them now once you get really good at them so just tack on that green form right next to what you're used to and uh, you'll see that you are playing right over the top of it. It's like superimposing it, like I said before. And if you know the green forms here, you'll know the next one's going to be blue and then the indigo form and all that stuff. But for right now, let's just stick one new color in there just to have fun with it, okay? So once again, minor pentatonic. 
A, and then just scoot back a little bit and see that superimposed uh, green form in there. Give yourself some more options with that. Okay, hopefully you have fun with that. Try it with some backing tracks and uh, let me know how it goes, okay? All right, if you wanna know more about the color forms, once again, go ahead and hit the website, theartofguitar.com, and we'll see you guys soon, okay?